If you're not a big fan of electric cars, then here are two words that will surely send a shiver down your spine. Range anxiety. If you've never heard of this, it's basically the idea that going for a drive in an EV will probably end up with a battery running out and you being stranded by the side of the road and eaten by wolves. Okay, not that last bit, but you get the idea. If range anxiety is a concern for you, listen up. Mercedes have just shown off a concept car that might just end range anxiety for good. It's called the Vision EQXX. And this car, ladies and gentlemen, has an absolutely enormous range. How enormous? Come towards the screen, real close. Let me, let me whisper in your ear. A thousand kilometers. Seriously, this bad boy can apparently drive for over 620 miles on a single charge, which means you could pretty much drive from London to Munich without stopping, hypothetically. There isn't another electric car on the market that I know of today that even gets close to that, which begs the question, when can I get one? And also more importantly, how are they doing this? Before we get to that, let's talk about the design. Do we like it? Personally, I quite like the front end. The full width LED light is quite nice and very in keeping with current Mercedes design. The star-shaped headlamps are interesting. I like how they've tried to be quite clever about making the smooth wheel covers look a bit like they've got spokes and there's some quite nice texturing going on there. But the profile and the back end, I'm not totally convinced by. It's the usual thing, isn't it? Whenever you get a car that's super aerodynamic, it ends up looking a bit strange, a bit weird. But if nothing else, it's bold and it kind of resembles a weird family reimagining of a Mercedes Project One. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, back to that 1,000 kilometer range. How? The key word here is obviously efficiency. They say it's 95% efficient. That means 95% of the energy from the battery ends up at the wheels. The most efficient petrol car is only 30% efficient, roughly. And to get to that point, they've taken the battery know-how from their F1 division and everything they've learned from their big flagship road car, the EQS, and squeezed all of that know-how and tech into a new compact concept car. The battery has a capacity of just under 100 kilowatt hours, which is what we expect from EVs with the biggest range right now. And yet, the battery pack itself is more dense. It has 50% less volume and 30% less weight. Big capacity and low weight means it can go further. How much does it actually weigh? Well, they say 1,750 kilos, around the same as an entry-level E-Class. And just to give you a bit of context, not that they're the same type of car, but that's less weight than a Jag F-Type V8. For reference, the EQS, with a similar size battery pack, weighs two and a half tons. They've literally shaved 750 kilos, the weight of a fully grown buffalo, out of the car. They've also gone to town reducing drag. Mercedes spent a shed load of time in wind tunnels making the EQXX as slippery as possible. Watch how the air flows with barely any disturbance over the car. It's got a really small frontal area as well. Actually less than a Mercedes CLA or even a smart car. The rear track, that's the distance between the rear wheels, is 50 millimeters less than the front track, so it's even more narrow at the back. And there are plenty of other clever touches like cooling shutters at the front that open and close to channel air around the car or through those little nostrils on the bonnet. Plus there are magnesium wheels with smooth wheel covers and check out the retractable rear diffuser. That thing pops out at higher speed to keep the drag as low as possible and then pops away when you're going slower so people don't trip over it, I guess. By the way, that diffuser has to be super lightweight and also needs to instantly retract in the event of an accident. In the end, all of this helped Mercedes reduce the drag coefficient to a very impressive 0.17. For reference, a Prius has a drag coefficient of around 2.5, a human is around 0.8, an American football is 0.18, um, a penguin is 0.05. Not as good as a penguin, but it's still impressive. They've also integrated solar panels in the roof. Not many people are doing this right now to good effect, but Mercedes reckon their ultra thin panels can supply 25 kilometers extra range after a good day of capturing the sun's energy. Every little helps. A quick word now on the inside of the car. They've gone for a fairly simple organic layout with a lot of sustainable materials. The door pulls are made from bio steel fiber, which is apparently like fake silk. The details on the seat cushions are made from Milo, 
No, not the kids drink. It's uh, a vegan leather alternative made from mycelium, whatever that is. The leather itself is made from Desertex or Desertex, which is made from pulverized cactus. The carpets are made from bamboo fiber. You get the idea. Sustainable, sustainable, sustainable. But it's also cool. Check out the massive 47 and a half inch 8K one piece mini LED display across the dash. Yes, I did say 47 and a half inch one piece mini LED 8K display. The resolution is 7680 by 660. It looks great, but the funky thing about it is that it's powered by a game engine. So the graphics don't look like what you'd normally get in a traditional car. It's more like an Xbox or PS5 game. And it actually gamifies the whole driving experience, telling you when to lift off, when to accelerate, and what routes to take based on the sunshine you might get for your solar panels or the headwinds that you might encounter that might slow you down or hills that might sap your battery energy. All very clever. And obviously it has its own voice assistant and virtual tour guide who appears on the screen in the form of Mercedes Jelenic, the woman who Mercedes cars are actually named after. So when you say, hey Mercedes, you're literally talking to Mercedes or a fake version of Mercedes. Honestly, I could probably talk about this car for ages, about the intricacies of this thing and what makes it so hyper efficient, but it doesn't exist yet. So I'm gonna take a lot of what Mercedes say with a pinch of salt for the moment. But I'm quietly optimistic that a lot of what we see on this concept car will end up on a production vehicle. In fact, Mercedes say we're gonna see something vaguely resembling this by 2024. And yes, it should include the massive range, the 47 and a half inch 8K one piece mini LED screen, and possibly the pulverized cactus thing as well. Whether it's enough to get rid of range anxiety remains to be seen, but I think you'll probably agree, this looks like an impressive step forward for electric cars. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, see you next time. Peace.